Welcome to Warblock. Today I'm looking at the Gordane Air Base scenario. Um, I've actually sort of already started this and I made an error so I had to start a game. Usually I start at the front. The, the observation being this is the fourth one from this sort of series. Ogodon. Ogodon War, Ogodon War, Ogodon War, etc. etc. Um, the thing with what I'm sort of infer or get, get, getting to with um, some of this is that they sort of go well. And this is the general invasion, and then these are the bitty bits. So there's the battle for Filto. Now this the recapture of Filto comes a little much later in the war, seventy eight, um, and it's one of the last events. Um, and then there's the so there's the the overall invasion, and the, but there's the the battle for Filto and the um, the battle for Gordane Air Base. Now the thing with the battle for Gordane Air Base is there's not much to it. And here, under here, we've got um, Califo. So it says here, Somalian forces advance on Gordanian. Well, I should say, should say Gordane. It's the wrong way around. Air base as well as Calafo. And the point it being, I got it from this documentary really. Um, so if we, if we just. I'm not actually sure if you can hear the sound. This is the reference to Gordain. So that's it, saying Gordain was a beacon. Um, what I'm trying to get to is this is pretty much all I know about Gordain. I think this is their re. Yeah, this is after the the previous one. So that that's referring to the um I mean because basically I'm just watching the video and, and so this is the battle for Filto. So what they're talking about here is holding Filto. And then I don't know the appropriate time slots. So presumably they're looking at So they're talking about Gordain there. And there's the there's the airport. I don't want to sort of sit there listening to too much of this or watching it, but then it goes on. I don't know if you can hear this, but So, 
So they're talking about Calafo there. Now, I'm going to leave it at that, the video, from that video. The point being that all I'm doing is watching that video, and all it's done is talk about Gordain and Colafo. Now, it does talk about Gordain looking over the this river. Let me just see if I can just find that bit. I seem to recall where it said that. Yeah. Exactly. So this is what it says there, and if you hear that, straddling the something Caffelli River. Straddling the fertile Shabelli River. So that's how I've got the location for Gordain. So it's straddling the fertile Shabelli River. Um, is that what it actually says? And, and when I looked at the Shabelli River, there is an air base there, and then there is Calafo there. Um, and so I've assumed that that's Gordain. Basically, the bottom line is I can't find Gordain anywhere, so I don't know where Gordain is. Um, but there is an air base there. The Calafo is actually there. And this is the Shabelli River. And so it would make sense that that's it. So that's how I've assumed that. Um, so essentially what they're doing, they're coming up from here. Moving up along this river, uh, up this road. Now obviously there's other ways they can go because you can cross this river. It's not uncrossable. It just takes a turn. Um, so I'm going to actually just jump in and play. Now again, I don't think we're going to get air superiority. I'm really not sure how this one's sort of going to play, really. But, I think it's sort of obvious that we just sweep up the road. And then go there. Now we're going to meet some resistance, but not a lot. And we, we can alternatively send something through the hills, but that's going to take a long time. I think the road is key, and I am sort of trying to focus on games and, and focusing the games basically through the train. I haven't made any changes yet, but so that you fight more for roads and having that sort of line of zone of control becomes a secondary thing. So you can understand that they would have some troops here in the airport and in Calafo, maybe a couple of these places, but there's no sort of massive line, sort of, you know, like this. You know, basically this fight is for the road, for example. And once you've got the road, you can sweep up here relatively unopposed. I mean, going through here is going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 turns. Um, whereas going up this way, 1, 
two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's not a lot quicker. Bizarre. Oh, that's because he's a lot nearer there. One second. Okay. Keep thinking I've got mice. Right, so we've got the option to engage here. And I think we will. But in a passive way. Oops, shouldn't be able to push him in there. Oh, I know why that is. Yep, yeah, okay. What I'm saying, we're not, tr we, we're just really moving out of that space because we're there and there's only one unit going to attack. But I don't want to start spearheading with this lot. But we should be able to be there. He's only got two defense. That'll be two, four, six. That means this will be seven to one. And we push them back. That's all I wanted to do there. Right. Well, they do have air superiority. So. And they went across the river. Should be able to hold our ground there. I wonder how far these guys can go. Should have gone that way. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. Because I'm armor and mechanized. Do we get any reinforcements, I wonder? No. None at all. So. Hmm. Sort of feel like retreating. I want to push him way back. I want to get this mechanized and armor. So your control of the road is really good. Well, 
they're probably not going to use any air power we've got some artillery there and I think this artillery really wants to sort of see if we can get a little closer Artillery. We don't really have much in the way of troops, but we got air power. And I think we're going to fly air superiority. giving us one attack a turn but that's okay if we can get a big stack like that okay so they can't really afford to fly okay Hmm. So this is why I wanted to not really be too forceful with these units last turn. Because these are going to be the key ones. I'll block the road, haven't I? Not a big deal. Hmm. That move that. Okay. Six. One, two, three to one infantry. That's going to be a four to one at least. Possibly a five to one. So we push them back. Well, they want to now put themselves in a safe position. They didn't want to be in there, did they? Hmm. 
At least we can get him behind the lines. Move him out as well. We'll leave those. Mm, we'll sort of split up like that. I'll push this armor here. Push my artillery a little further forward. It's all oh. two, three, two, three, two, I did that again because he, he was damaged. He would be on 1.1 because he got half last time. So they're all being slowly hit. It's the thing that the Ethiopians have in, on their side, the air power. It's a shame that they need three in air superiority. I'm just wondering whether or not it might be better to bring them out of air superiority. I mean, it will give them two shots, but well, we, we do have air, air defense. And that will give us a lot more ability to pound these. But we can't afford to take any casualties, it's not that sort of game. Hmm. Okay. Now, they're taking hits, but if we sit them still, we can recover most of what their, most of their damage. Can we afford to move forward with these? Let's regroup. And allow our artillery to enter the game. We want to attack.
Tired. Okay. I'm thinking of moving these. into there or to there or just leaving them I don't think there's any real chance of a counter attack so I'm going to keep the pressure on DR Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm a bit tired. And I think it's that's going to snowball. I don't think there's anything that could stop them. I'm going to actually add a few more Ethiopian forces just to give it a little more interest. Because it's, you know, as I, as I sort of pointed out earlier on, it all comes from that video and they're just the reference. There's no real sort of key to what they had. So, anyway, um, hope you enjoy that. I'll speak to you later. Cheerio.